For those of us who are more comfortable moving files around a server using an FTP client like Cyberduck or WinSCP, a few small adjustments are needed in an island or a VM. As we can see here, I'm going to use Cyberduck to try to log into my brand new VM. I'm at localhost. My port is 2222. And my username and password should be vagrant and vagrant, just as they would be if I was logging in via a terminal. But when I try to log in, I don't have any success. So unfortunately, to get this FTP client to work, I do have to spend a little bit of time in the terminal changing, some, changing a setting. So I'm going to pull up VirtualBox and I'm going to look at the virtual terminal window here and log in. Credentials are still vagrant and vagrant. And the command I want to use is sudo vi slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. And this is going to open up this config file in a way that I can edit it right here in the terminal. So I have to use my directional keys to scroll down and find password authentication, which is currently set to no. And this is our problem with trying to use an FTP client. So we edit that right here in the terminal. I hit escape and then colon X and enter to save my changes. And finally, I need to restart the server process so that these changes will go into effect. So the last command I'm going to put in is sudo systemctl restart sshd. And I'll hit enter. That's restarted. And now when I bring up my FTP client and try again with those same credentials, localhost, 2222. Username is Vagrant and password is Vagrant. And when I try to connect, I'm in. I'm into my home directory in this Islandor VM. And from here I can click around without having to use terminal commands. And I can navigate directly into the Drupal file system. I can change configuration or upload files for migration, for instance. To learn more about Islandora, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it out for yourself, please visit us at islandora.ca.